Hello, you two. I know it's been a long time since we updated you on anything, right? Well, today we are here in the Philippines. There's the mine. We're here somewhere. Somewhere, listening to a lot of uh, hammer beats. <laughs> Can you guess what they're building? If you've been following us, I'm sure you know. But right now, we're waiting on the deep well. So much more deep than it was when we first got here. That's crazy. So this is what it looks like right now. Everything is just in the middle of construction. But the well has gotten a lot deeper, and now we see water. <laughs> this is where the water is going to get extracted. This is going to be our own well operating water station. Yeah, these guys are really great. Right it's really yep. deep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. It's deep enough. That's what she said! <laughs> and then what about the house, babe? The house would be in here. This is the house where the water is going to be. The target of this is like it should be built in a month, a month or two, I think. I don't know. It depends on how they actually how fast they can build this up. But we have all the building materials and stuff, right? Oh yeah, but we can still gonna have more. We still requires roofing and then the seal. Yeah. And then I think we need to do electricity, right? Electricity would be solar. This is powered by solar. Why why do we do solar instead of just run the electricity? Because thing? there is no like electricity here that could supply for 24 hours. We have electricity here but only for six hours. No. After that it shuts down. So we have to have like a 24-7. It's because of the brownout, right? Yeah. All of this right here needs to just be bamboo. Now it's all tore up and everything. I'll yeah. probably use that bamboo to <laughs> do this, huh? Yeah. How do you think it's going so far? It looks good. I'm excited for it. It's going to be the first, very first business that we are putting in here, and we're hoping to have more here in the Philippines. Yeah, this is phase one of our business plan. We do everything by hand here, huh? Well, the, the secret to that is that everything's always going to turn out a lot better, a lot stronger, right? Yeah. With love and. <laughs> They build it with sweat and love. Well, that's your second plan, right? Yeah. To do a bakery that bake everything with love? Okay. Huh? Yeah. Okay, there you go. And <laughs> Got all the coconuts, coconut trees, which is another thing we might actually do. Looks so nice. Here. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an idea of why we started doing this. We wanted to build a water station out here because it's very far away if you want to go get water at any point in time so they have to like travel back into the city basically like this whole area out here is a rural uh, as you can see so everything that is not really convenient so we're going to try to work on making things a little bit more convenient for people around here so that they can get water do whatever they need to do uh, and then it'll be like i said our first business and it's exciting and we're gonna keep expanding from there and try to do like maybe a bakery maybe do like a gas station i don't know we'll see what sticks okay babe so how do you feel about getting your first business started and everything i'm happy super happy excited excited and you think this is gonna help people that live here and everything too so they don't go far away just to fetch the water try to get some convenience going for them yeah yeah what uh what else do you want to make convenient for them I don't know. Oh, it's kind of a secret. You cannot say that, you know. It's just like you have to plan it and then put that, put it up, and that's it. What do you think of the building so far? Does it look good? It looks good. I'm always impressed with how they do it here by hand. Yeah. Well, I know that it's going to be nice and strong, and that we're going to be able to keep it for the years to come. Yeah. Yep. 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 So I think you plan to have a patio because. A pasture. Yeah, there's a coconut coconut field and everything back there. Yeah, so as Ma was saying, the all back there is all pasture land, so you can raise like cows or chickens or whatever you want to. And then further back there is all coconut trees. So you can also invest in doing a coconut field. And coconuts have a lot of uses, which which will be exciting if we can. If we can actually managed to do it everything looks good so far and we're definitely gonna keep everybody updated hope you guys enjoy this kind of content uh and then we're gonna see you back at the house so we're just walking along the road here 
people that live there. There is still like space in here that's not yet occupied, but all the lands, lands here, they're all like, you know, like bought by people. It's not just they haven't like built their houses. Uh, what do you call them? Nipa huts? Yeah. yeah. Others, they just do a temporary house, which is the Nipa hut. But soon they'll just go over and turn that into a concrete with all the bamboo and everything. Yeah, we have seen a lot of bamboo, chicken, cows, carabao, domestic dogs. The, the bull? It's carabao? It's carabao though? Yeah. We got a baby. Is that a cat? Yeah, a baby cow. You can see pretty much everywhere. Oh, baby, you remember you like, I know, the book with you? Ah, the You can just walk up and just take a yeah. coconut and just start drinking or what? Yes. Hey guys, so now I'm back at the house and wanted to give you a little bit of a tour around here. We're actually working on Divine's mom and dad's house to make it a little bit bigger, extend it out, give them a little bit more of a, you know, comfortable living as they were, were living in like one of the, the huts basically. So our idea was to kind of spruce this place up and whenever we also come and visit then this will be like our, our place to come stay and everything. So to give you a little tour around, we've already done like the patio area where you could come have coffee or drink and just socialize. And then the dining room area, nothing in the kitchen quite yet. Right now we just have the makeshift uh, stove basically. Still works. Here's a close up of the makeshift stove <laughs> and a chick. They're watering all over the place here. This is where they keep all the chickens and hens. And then I guess you could call this area the dishwashing area until we get everything fixed and we put everything in here in the kitchen area. And then over there's the deep well where you get all your water and everything. They usually like roast pigs and everything over there. They'll dig a pit and everything. So maybe we can put like a fire pit area like right here so that they can just do it whenever they want to do like chon or anything like that. Uh, generator, they usually rent because they don't usually have power. After about 11 p.m. power will go out. So you have to have something to run the electricity until we can get solar panels. Uh, water bike to get from here and there. And then I guess you can call this the front patio for now. Uh, we might get like an awning or something to put over here so there's actual shade. Nice. But yeah, uh, so far, not bad. This is the backyard for now. There's a restroom at the back, whatever. Uh, they didn't have the toilet and stuff installed inside. You had to actually go out there and get water from the deep well and uh, do your business outside. And it's, it's literally wide open. So it's quite an interesting experience when getting to do all these things. The garden back here, this is like all squash and they have yam leaves back there. We could probably expand more of this out so that we can make more fruits and vegetables. You can just come to your backyard and just pick everything you need. But let's do a quick little tour. So, so far we've done the flooring and everything in here in the living room. Looks really good. We want to try to put like the same kind of flooring or tiling uh, in the other rooms. Because right now, as you can see, it's just concrete and there's a restroom in there. And then there's two rooms. Uh, both are still concrete uh, and then we haven't been able to like fully furnish everything yet but we're gonna work on that after after we're done with the roofing and everything as you can see it's still in the tin foil stage we still have to put all the roofing in and insulation and everything so right now as you can imagine it's pretty hot <laughs> of course there's gonna be the dining room area we already put all the windows in curtains the windows are rolling so it's nice so you can open and close them. That's a nice breeze through here. Most days it's like 85, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, but at night it's like, goes, it goes down to like 74, 75, somewhere around there. So I mean, it's comfortable TV area. Yeah, let's look at my bedrooms. So far right now they just use these as storage rooms basically for things. And then this is the room that we usually stay in. Uh, with the mosquito net and everything. <laughs> because right now everything's pretty much wide open so it lets all the mosquitoes and everything in so you have to prepare yourself. 
but yeah, it's, it's still it's still pretty comfy. And that night, the electricity will come on for a few hours, so at least you can use the fan and everything. But that'll probably be the final bit of the project, where we put in solar at the, on the roofing, and then they'll have electricity all the time. And can, we can run a refrigerator, uh, aircon or air conditioning, and then we'll focus on doing like couches and stuff like that. But so far, so good. These are all new doors that are on here. Front door, they just have this makeshift door on the, for the kitchen, which we'll fix later. And I think she want, Divine wants to put like a sliding door over here uh, between the area where you would socialize and then the kitchen. And then the other room, which is just concrete stuff right now. But so far we have a working toilet, well, sort of. <laughs> Still requires you to pour water into it from the deep well in order to flush it and everything. And then I guess this is where our shower is gonna go right here. And then uh, put a shutter on that window eventually too. So, so far so good. Uh, everything actually looks pretty nice. Only thing is, is it does get pretty hot still, but we'll fix that whenever we get the solar and everything put in. First things first, we're gonna finish a couple of our businesses up and then we'll probably finish up the house uh, in between doing our business stuff. So it's all a work in progress, but we seem to be liking the house so far and we're just glad we're able to help in some way. We'll keep uh, everybody updated and we'll continue to build on to this and we'll have them like send pictures and stuff to us and if you follow us on Facebook and everything. Of course, we can post pictures there on YouTube, uh, Instagram, wherever you follow. And uh, we'll just keep you updated from there. And then also with the business, uh, we hope that everything will take off and we won't have any problems, uh, knock on wood. Me and Divine are actually quite happy with what we got going on here so far in the Philippines. But it's gonna be a sad day to take her back to the US. But we gotta go back so that we can continue to make content for you guys that's not just based here. So we hope that you're enjoying everything so far. So that was tour around the house. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And yeah, it's just a work in progress. Hopefully we'll get it there sooner than later. Right, babe? Mm -hmm. Are you excited to get it all completed? Yeah, that's why you see that we don't have here a heater. We don't have like a shower. Our walls here are still rough because it's still under construction. That's okay. I went over everything with them, so they know. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everything's under construction and it'll be totally fixed. Mm -hmm. But for now, I'm just gonna enjoy my buko juice. Buko juice. <laughs> yeah. But we'll see you guys next time and hopefully we'll have another update soon, uh, sooner rather than later. Oh, see you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Oh yeah, don't forget all the usual. Share Bye. videos. See ya. <laughs>